Changing your skin in Minecraft in 2023, let's do it. First things first, you're going to want to download a skin of some sort, I'm guessing. If you've already got a skin, awesome, skip forward a little bit in the video, but there's kind of two options to get a skin. The first is go to the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is the skin decks, where you can search up different Minecraft skins. For example, if you come up here to the top and we search for Knight, we'll be able to find tons of different Knight Minecraft skins. Let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, this one right here. This will work perfectly. Once you click on the skin, you can actually preview it here in this uh, this sort of left-hand side. That's where you should be able to, there you go, drag these around and kind of like see all sides of it, all that stuff. And then once you've said, yes, I want this skin, click the download button on the right-hand side here. It's gray. It's kind of weird. Make sure this is the download button you click and none of the other ones on the page. And then the skin will download automatically. You may need to keep or save it, but you probably won't. Now, I said there were two methods to get a skin, and the other one is making your own. We have an in-depth guide on how to do this in the description down below. It goes over everything you need to know to get your skin up and running and create a skin of your very own that's your own very own style. And it doesn't use Photoshop or anything like that. It just uses tools readily available on the internet. It's actually right here. It's also on the skin decks and allows you to create stuff. You can even upload skins that you have downloaded and actually edit them. So if you want to upload this, just uh, we'll do there and boom, you can edit them, change them. You know, for example, you could come through and change all of this to blue instead of gold if you wanted to. But that's how you can make your own skin using that link in the description. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And now what we need to do is when you're in the Minecraft launcher, click on skins. So from the play section, click on skins at the top of the Minecraft launcher. And then as you can see, here are all the different skins. And what's great, there's actually more default skins that you can choose from. For example, if you wanted to choose any of these, you would just hover over them and click use. It's that simple, skin selected, you're good to go. However, you can also have in the old Steve skin if you wanted to, or Alex or any of the other Minecraft skins, for example, ones you've added previously. But let's go ahead and click new skin here. Now we'll name this, of course, Gold Knight. And then once we do this, or I guess Dark Knight would be more fitting. Dark Knight, you can choose your player model. That's going to be the wide arms or the slim arms. It's up to you. This is, uh, I think, made for the wide arms. And then click Browse. From here, you want to select your skin file. For me, that's going to be in the Downloads folder on the left-hand side here. You may have to go under this PC and select Downloads. And then there it is. Once you've got it selected, you can select your cape if you want it, and then go ahead and click save in the bottom, and you can hover over it here and click use. When you do that, your skin is now active. So if we go ahead and quickly jump in to Minecraft, we'll be able to hit F5, I believe, I believe it's F5, and switch around and see our skin. While we are waiting for Minecraft to open up, though, have another smart sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex, the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, we are loading here in-game, and once we're in-game, like I said, we can hit F5 and switch around, and there we go. We can also set it to daytime so we can see even better. What's great is I like my other skin better. This is a great skin. It looks great, but it's not me. So we close out of Minecraft and open up the Minecraft launcher again. We will actually be able to, let's get air because I already had Minecraft open, and we'll be able to click on skins up here at the top and actually select our old skin without having to add it again or keep any of the files or anything like that. It's all stored in the Minecraft launcher now. So if we go to skins, I want my old skin, Nick's skin. This is the skin that I've used for literally nearly a decade. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then click play. And now, guess what? We're good to go. Our old skin is selected and the new one is there if we wanted that one again. You could switch between tons of different skins doing this way and it's nearly instant. Sometimes on servers it can be delayed a little bit, but usually it is instant for getting your skin switched out on a server even. So nevertheless now, jump into single player and hit F5. My skin is back to normal. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out one of the videos on your screen right now. YouTube thinks you'll like it. Let's see if they're right. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.